In this video, we're going to walk through placing YouTube videos into a MySQL database. Then we're going to use PHP to take the YouTube video information from our database and display a video on our web page. Now, when we save the YouTube video in our database, all we want to save is the YouTube video ID. That way we can determine what we do with that ID inside our PHP. If we take the embed code and put the embed code in our database, or take YouTube links and put those in our database, now we're restricted to either embedding the videos or using a link. However, if we just store the video ID, we can determine what we're doing, display a video, link to a video in our PHP. The first thing we need to do is create a table to store some videos in. So I'm gonna create a new table called videos and I'm going to store three columns. My columns are going to be ID. We'll give each video a name and then we'll give each video a YouTube ID. Now the ID will be integer. The name will be variable character. I'll just throw in a hundred characters for that. The YouTube ID will also be variable character and currently YouTube IDs are 11 characters. And they'll probably never need to increase that. I'm also just gonna take my ID, mark that as my primary key, and make that auto increment. All right, now we have our table, so let's insert a couple records. I have a couple videos here, so I'm just gonna copy and paste both the titles and the YouTube ID, which I can just grab here out of the URL. And we'll insert one more just so we have three to work with. And the ID. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one tab open because we'll go back there later on where we need to extract a copy of some YouTube embed code or a YouTube URL. So if I click browse, there's my three videos, each with a title and a YouTube ID. The next step is we want to get the data from our database onto a web page. So I have here a PHP script already created. I've taken the example from some of the last couple of videos and just pulled out everything that I need and stripped out everything unrelated to getting our YouTube videos to show up. So just to walk through this code, first I connect to my database. I'm using MAMP to test, so I'm just using localhost. Next, if the connection fails for some reason, we get a nice descriptive error message. I here construct my query, so we'll have to edit those couple lines. We then execute our query. If there is a problem executing our query, we display a nice descriptive error message. We're going to output the number of rows that our SQL statement retrieved. And then finally, we loop through our result. And in this case, we will display the video title and then a link to the video and we will embed the video directly on that page. So if I open up my local host and view our videos page, we get our page up and running. Um, at this point, because my SQL statement isn't complete, we're getting an error with our SQL statement. Don't let an SQL error message confuse you. 
When you see an error message that starts with, you have an error in your SQL statement, the line number it's referencing is not the line number in your PHP script, like a typical PHP error, it's line number two of our SQL statement. So in this case, line 28. Now the problem with that SQL statement is you cannot specify from until you've finished the select. So with our select, we haven't specified our fields yet, so we cannot start the from portion of our SQL statement. So let's fix this query. So select ID, name, and YouTube ID from videos, and we'll just go order by name. And if I save that and refresh my local host, hey, we have found three rows, and that's good because we have three videos in our table. And to start, let's just get something showing up from each of them. So I'll just open up an H2, and from our record away, display our video name. And now if I refresh, there's our video names. Now we want to take our YouTube ID and use it to display the actual video and a link. So to start, let's just get our YouTube ID showing up on our screen. So if I echo our YouTube ID, there's our three IDs. And the nice thing about just having the ID in the table and not either a full embed script or a YouTube link is that I can decide what to do with this YouTube ID within my PHP. If I want to embed it, I just take the embed code and get my YouTube ID into the right spot of that embed code. Or if I want a link, I copy the rest of the link and inject my YouTube ID. So let's start by getting a link. So this is what a YouTube video link looks like. So if I just write an echo statement and output that and refresh, there's a YouTube link now, I don't need the channel information here, so I can take that off. I don't need that variable, and the YouTube ID is going to come from my record array. So I'm now going to append from my record array the YouTube ID. And now if I refresh, we get three different well-formatted YouTube links. And I can now make those clickable. So I'm going to put these in a variable because I'm going to use them more than once. And then I'm going to open a link, use my URL as the href, and then reuse my URL as the clickable portion of my link. And again, if I save and refresh, there's my link. And if I click it, there's our first video, creating a PHP contact form. And let's just try a second one to make sure I'm getting different videos each time. And there's my second one, PHP functions. Okay, so our links are working. Now, if I want to also embed the video there, I need to take the YouTube ID and inject it into the HTML that embeds a video. So I'm going to go to the share tool on YouTube and I want to copy a sample of the YouTube embed code. And now I can close that and I can close this tab. I can then paste that into my PHP and I'm just going to break this up into a couple of different lines so it's easy to read. And this is the YouTube video ID. So instead of using the one that I copied, I'm going to take 
the YouTube ID from our record array and inject that into our embed HTML. And now if I refresh, there's our embedded YouTube videos. And let's just clean that up a bit. I can remove the ID. No one needs to see that. I can just put these on their own line, with a couple breaks. And now if I save and refresh, we get a slightly cleaner list. And just to reemphasize that putting the YouTube ID in the database is more practical, let's say I decide I want to change one of the settings in my YouTube embed code. If I open up the YouTube embedding documentation, I can see there's a series of options here when embedding a YouTube video. So let's say, for example, that I want to remove the YouTube logo from my embedded video. So YouTube provides an option called modest branding that when set to one, the YouTube player will, will include less YouTube branding. And in our YouTube URL, we just add a parameter called modest branding, set it equal to one. And now before I refresh, if I click play, notice there's that YouTube logo in the bottom right. However, now if I refresh and I click play, the YouTube logo has been removed. So if I were to place the embed code in my database, now I would have to go through every single record and make those changes to each record. However, if I only put the YouTube ID in the database, now I can determine exactly how that is used within my PHP. It's a lot more flexible, your database is slightly smaller, and you'll be glad you did.